Hi, welcome to bringmysexybat.co.uk. My name is Tom Clough and today I'm going to talk to you about fat burning techniques. Now common problems that you've probably got right now that are stopping you from losing weight is the fact that your diet sucks, you drink too much beer or other alcoholic drinks, you don't have enough sleep and you're too stressed in your life. And all these things can hamper the weight loss that you desire. So first of all, I'll just talk to you a little bit about dietary techniques. First dietary technique is to reduce the sugar intake in your diet. If your activity levels are high enough at the moment, or you're consuming too many calories, uh, the chances are that you have a lot of sugars in your diet. So by cutting these out, you're going to stop the potential barriers that are going to stop you losing weight. So eat a clean diet. So basically, anything that grows from the ground comes from a living animal or has lived itself. So you're talking fruit, vegetables, meat, fish, dairy products. And basically, if it's natural, you're not going to go far wrong in losing weight as long as you eat in the correct order and put the correct meal composition together. And when we talk about meal composition, we're talking about carbohydrates, which could be pasta, rice. We're talking about fats, so good fats, avocado, olives, a couple of dairy fats, but the particular fats from fish, oily fish, mackerel, sardines, salmon, and probably a lot of you are already going, oh, I don't like the sound of that, but these are the foods that are going to create a lifestyle and a body that you desire. So it's not for me or other fitness professionals or for dietitians to be held accountable for what you're eating, we're just simply telling you, look, these are the foods that are going to help you live a healthy lifestyle and, and will make you look great and feel great. So you best get used to the idea that some foods aren't going to taste as good as others. So mackerel on a Friday might not be as good as fish and chips, but one of them is going to create one result and one of them is going to create another result. And it's up to you to choose that decision on what lifestyle you truly want because it's going to take effort and it's going to take sacrifice to get there, particularly if you're looking to lose weight. Perhaps when you're at your goal and you're moving forward and you just want to maintain, then you can afford to have meals out, you can afford to have takeaways, you can afford to have a couple of drinks. But when you're actually trying to lose the weight, those things have no place in your diet because they're just going to impede any results that you're trying to create. So carbohydrates with every meal, good fats with every meal and protein with every meal. So if you've had the mackerel already which has got the good fats in, it's got the protein in as well. Um, so you could have that with a salad for example um, or vegetables and you can build that portion up roughly about half of a plate because that's going to leave you feeling fuller and also it's got vitamins, minerals and nutrients that you're going to need and it's going to actually make you more efficient to lose weight. So because we've eliminated sugar, just an example because you might not understand uh, the different types of carbohydrate which contain sugars and which don't contain sugars. Porridge oats would be a clean carbohydrate, um, but Rice Krispies as a breakfast option aren't, possibly because the sugar uh, content is too high in these meals um, and that can be a barrier to your weight loss. There's no need to consume that if you're serious about your results. So that's a little bit on diet to start with. Um, and if you want more information on diet and exercise, then enter your details up above, first name and email address, and I'll send you a free report which highlights all this that I'm going to talk about today. So we're going to move on to exercise. At the moment you may be in a gym routine, you may have a personal trainer, you may work out at home to DVDs, you may do nothing at all. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing it to a high enough intensity. So for example, um, if I was to say go for a walk for 30 minutes, for me that's going to do very little because I'm used to exercise, I'm used to working at high intensity. It's not going to stimulate any fat loss in my body whatsoever. But if you're five stone overweight and you've done no exercise for the past three years, then that's a good starting point because that's going to be high enough intensity to stimulate your body to lose weight. What you've got to be aware of is when you start losing weight it's going to plateau at some point because your body becomes very efficient to cardio workouts. So for example if you're a 10k runner 
your body will learn how to run that and after a while you won't get the results that you probably think you ought to be getting from that and the same goes for walking long distances because your body learns to condition to that response all the time so it won't release fat as often because it just thinks I know what I'm doing here it's okay to keep the energy so we can use high intensity and low intensity exercise and use a mixture of both to create a better result so if you start off with walking or whether you're starting off with running if you up the intensity for a certain amount of time for a couple of minutes for example and then lower the intensity and repeat that process maybe 10 times so it takes you about 20 minutes 30 minutes then that's going to produce a better response again um, the same goes for that principle in that if you repeat that and you continue week after week it will get efficient with your body and it'll, it'll coordinate with your body so the results won't be as prominent as they were early on but the beauty of having trainers or having access to material where you can learn different exercises is the fact that you can learn new ways to stimulate your body so you can swap your program over and you don't have to be reliant on one type of program um, another main factor is building muscle, building lean muscle and particularly female clients get very worried about this I always get lots of questions from clients about well I don't want to be really muscly I don't want to be big, I don't want to look like those bodybuilders but it just isn't going to happen first of all you're not going to take nowhere near as many hours training as these people do to the same intensity, to the same diet, to the same supplements that they may have as well and anything else that helps them to get to that state it really would take a lot it's just not going to happen so when we talk about lean muscle we talk about slimness we're not, talk we're not talking about big bulky bodybuilders we're talking about muscle that sticks well on your body that looks aesthetically pleasing and the beauty of having more lean muscle is the fact that at rest the more lean muscle you have the higher your, your, your metabolism is going to be so for example if I, I weigh 14 stone and if I'm sat next to another person that's 14 stone but I've got more lean muscle than that person and we sit down to watch a TV program or a film for, a, for an hour or two because I've got low, low, um, higher lean muscle than the person sat next to me at rest I'm going to burn more calories just sat there than they are so it makes sense that we've got to build your lean muscle up as well if you want long lasting results and quick fat burning results and the way to do that is to use multi joint and multi muscle activity so we're working every muscle all the time because if you imagine my bicep and how small that muscle is and compare that to my legs which is the biggest muscle so it makes sense to work the legs more because it's a bigger muscle it can burn more energy than what my arms can so I'm not going to stand there doing bicep curls unless I do that at the end of the program I want to do that just for aesthetics because it looks good because um, I feel good when I do it because I feel the pump or whatever so I'm going to focus on working the legs out but also I'm going to try and work my upper body at the same time so I'm working not only my knee joint, my hip joint but I'll work my elbows um, from my shoulder my chest and my back and my glutes and if I work all these uh, mus muscles in one exercise I'm going to have a greater net calorie burn so each session I'm more efficient than the person that sat on the machine and again in my free report the triad training techniques I cover all these principles and I'll also put some more examples on the website of these different exercises so for example you would do a squat to press as opposed to a seated shoulder press because it's going to burn more calories and if you apply that principle to every exercise that you do you try and couple them up as much as you can you're going to be working 100, 200, 300, 1000 percent more muscles and more energy in a session than someone that just does a simple routine in the gym on, on the different machines so there you have it a couple of diet points a couple of exercise points apply these principles and I guarantee you'll get results you've just got to be consistent in your approach and get motivated until next time thanks for listening